discretion is advised. So mama black. This program contains language and sequences some viewers may find disturbing. Right! Bars on the windows of a South Memphis family's home were not enough to stop thieves from breaking in and swiping presents from under the tree. These bars, now on the kitchen floor, once guarded the window. This afternoon, the Grinch-like thieves managed to break them and push their way into the home, every single present gone, along with all the TVs and gaming systems. The burglars left no room untouched, flipping mattresses and rummaging through drawers, swiping any valuables they could find, and creating a real mess. Sadly for this family, this was their fourth burglary, and the second time it's happened right before Christmas. He took my angel off the top of my tree and threw it on the floor. And it's like, what the angel had to do with anything? That's an angel. Why would you do that? So if the police don't catch you, at least God don't get you at the end. Well, the family's now scraping for money they have left to provide the best possible Christmas they can for their four children. They estimate the thieves swiped a couple thousand dollars worth of their money. Manhunt is underway for a gunman wanted in a deadly shooting this weekend. Police say the suspect shot five people inside a home near 105th and State in the city's Fernwood neighborhood. Four of the victims died. NBC 5's Usher Qureshi joins us live from the scene with details. Usher. Good evening, Dick. Police tell us this evening that they received an anonymous 911 phone call a little before 1 p.m. this afternoon. When they arrived on the scene, they discovered a gruesome discovery. They found five people shot, as you mentioned, four of them fatally. Two female victims were found outside the home here in the 100 block of West 105th Street. One of the women was pronounced dead on the scene. The other was transported to Christ Medical Center in critical condition. Inside the house, another three bodies, all ma male. We're also told that a child, a two-year-old child, was found inside the home unharmed. That child was transported to Roseland Community Hospital. Possibly we're looking at a domestic situation at this time, uh, but once again, still unfolding. Um, now they got to grow up there without, without their mom. You know, man, no bad crazy, people. Man. They worked this every day, crazy. you know, took care of this. I don't know how this could have come about. For now, West 105th Street remains blocked off between South Perry Avenue and LaSalle. This evening, police tell us forensics will be sweeping the home late into the night. But for, at this time, they say they have more questions than they do have answers. And at this time, they have no suspects in this investigation. Live in Fernwood, Usher Qureshi, NBC5 News. Thank you, Usher, and we'll have an update tonight. New at 10 o'clock, a single mom in Bessemer working hard to give her young daughter a bright Christmas is devastated after a thief steals those gifts right out from under her. We had a lot of Grinches around here tonight, and she tells our Lydia who it was much more than Christmas gifts taken from that tree, Lydia. Constance Alexander says those gifts and an iPad were taken right out of her car as she parked in front of her house. And it's especially devastating because that iPad, it had priceless photos of her mother who has since passed away. Okay. Three-year-old Jayla comforts her mom under the glow of their Christmas tree. Her mom, Constance, still devastated that someone would steal her daughter's Christmas presents and iPad from her car. Wednesday night, um, Jayla and I were coming home from a friend's house around 10 o'clock. Jayla was sick, vomiting in the car. Constance says she rushed to get the little girl inside, locking the car doors, but leaving the interior light on. And I maybe came in the house for roughly like five, ten minutes to tame her and went back outside and all, the th all of my things was going out of my car. She says the Christmas gifts and iPad can be replaced, but it's what was stored on the iPad that sadly seems gone forever. My mom has passed. It has all her pictures in it. Constance says she has told neighbors in the Southside Homes community in Bessemer that she will pay just to have it returned. But so far, no luck. People over here were in our area to stop taking from each other, please. Like, yes, it's Christmas. Get out there and work for it. Even though thieves can steal gifts and family memories from Constance and Jayla, it seems the most precious things cannot be touched. I love you, baby, you is the 
best bubble in the world. You're welcome. And Bessemer police say that there was a second car theft on the same street in the Southside Homes Wednesday night. Live in the newsroom, Lydia Hu, WBRC, Fox 6 News, on your side. 11 o'clock, we're learning more about a man killed last night in Northeast Charlotte. Lots of shootings last night. All breaking news here at 11 o'clock. Four people shot. Two young men killed on Spring Garden Lane. That's in the Hidden Valley neighborhood. Tonight, we spoke to people who knew one of the men killed. His friend tells our Alex Giles he will be missed. What a difference. I just couldn't believe it when one of our friends called me. A day can make. Everybody is just in disbelief. Last night, this neighborhood was lit up with blue lights. Today, a teddy bear and flowers, the only signs that several people were shot outside of this home. Police tell us Raheem Hammond was one of the men shot and killed. When I first heard that, I cried. I, I bawled. I just, I couldn't believe it. I, Raheem is such a good guy. But Thursday night was a bad situation. Police tell us an altercation turned violent and shots were fired. Dana Sidbury can't believe it happened. You know, the whole situation is, is just a sad, very sad situation. It's a situation some have been trying to prevent. Charles Robinson of Team True Blue grew up in the Hidden Valley neighborhood. And my heart goes out to that family. You know, it's discouraging that, that we keep seeing a lot of gun violence here in, in our community. His community doesn't have the best reputation, known for harboring gangs in years past. It has a, a image now of a place is unsafe, uh, but I just don't see that. He says he's seen firsthand doctors and lawyers come out of Hidden Valley. To help fight the negative perception, he's asking others to think before they shoot. Why well, do it? Think about that thing before you pull that trick. Just think for a second. It just might be all the time needed to save a Good life. Good evening, everybody. It was a terrifying transaction. It began when a man pulled out a gun instead of his wallet. Seven's Vanessa Medina live on the scene of the crime in Dania Beach with this. Vanessa? Well, these armed robbers are a real piece of work. Not only did they terrorize this teenager, taking away his sense of security, but also stealing something very sacred to him. Aaron Cohen, just 16 years old, thinks he's selling his iPhone to someone he met online. The potential buyer pulls up in a white older model sedan, possibly a Dodge Stratus. The car is missing hubcaps and the front bumper is loose. The two start talking. Met them outside and then he came back in to get the phone, went back out. And by that time, they, the guy started forcing him in forcing him in through the back door of the e-commerce business in Dania Beach. Aaron works here part-time. Once inside, the young robber, possibly in his 20s, grabbed the teen, threatening him with a gun, pointing a gun to his head and his chest. The guy with the gun um, grabbing Aaron, walking him around the room, asking him different things, what's this, what's this? Um, with the gun on him the whole time. This man put a gun to this teenager's head forced him inside the warehouse. A second man arrived uh, and they began to ransack the warehouse. The accomplice walks in and gets to work quickly, taking out boxes and boxes of electronics. He covers his face the whole time. However, the other robber couldn't hide cameras capturing these snapshots. In this case, the warehouse had great surveillance video. It's very, very clear. We feel that anyone who sees it is going to recognize this armed robber and his accomplice right away. The two men going on an impromptu shopping spree for more than 10 minutes, grabbing everything in sight, even something very personal to Aaron. Took his, uh, it's called tefillin, it's a spiritual thing for the Jewish tradition. The set of small leather boxes contain scrolls inside with verses from the Torah. When the robbers decided to leave, they actually made him strip his clothes off. They took his phone, they took his wallet. He's very traumatized. I'm a little bit uh, traumatized. Um, it definitely took a, a big toll on us. So the people who work inside the building are scared and are hoping that you at home can help them out. If you know who those two men are, if you recognize their faces from the surveillance video, it's the holidays. You can nab yourself some fast, fast cash by calling Broward Crime Stoppers at phone number 954 <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.